Hi, my name is Mary Alice Hill. I started my career in college athletics in 1972 at Colorado State University. And actually, that was the first year that Title IX was implemented to give equality for women in sports. Since it was the first year, I got the title of Director of Women's Athletics. However, I was hired as a teacher that taught physical education, but also could coach track and field. So my first job title was Director of Women's Athletics, Director of Women's Intercollegiate Athletics, Coach of Track and Field, as well as I taught in the physical education program. Right away, I became aware of the disparity in women's athletics. The women's program was budgeted $5,500 and the men's program had $3 million. We traveled the same conferences. So therefore, the women had to pay for their uniforms. They had to pay for their meals. We had to drive all night as coaches to get to the venue and then get back. And as I had the title of Director of Women's Athletics, all the women coaches got together and decided it should be me that took the program to the head of the physical education department and asked for more money. Obviously, this was not a popular decision within the physical education department. And also, at this time, there was a men's athletics department and the women were in the department of physical education. And so, instead of going to the men's athletic department and saying, can we come with you, I had to go through the physical education program. The chair of the department said, well, we can never come up with the money you need, so what you need to do is put together a budget and take it to the president of the university. And so I said, do you mind if I do that? He says, absolutely not, go. And so I took it to the president of the university, who in turn turned around and told the physical education department they had to come up with the money to fund the women's program. So this was not a popular position for me, a first year teacher and not really knowing what I was doing anyway. Women's program did get some increase in budget. I think the next year we got $20,000 as opposed to five. And also we were able to give the first scholarship that was given at Colorado State University in 1973. And it was to a woman that eventually went on to become an Olympic athlete. She was a middle distance runner. And in the meantime, as track and field coach, I was, we were competing in indoor events, outdoor events, and across country. In 1973, we attended 36 track meets. We set many American records, and our cross country team was second in the nation. So while at Colorado State University, there are many aspects of the program and women's athletics, as well as track and field, and the lack of equality that I could talk about. I could talk about scholarships, the lack thereof. I could talk about going to the men's program, trying to bring the women's program into the men's athletics program. There are other aspects, political aspects that went on at the university at that time, how I became a liability as opposed to an asset to the university. Eventually, I got fired at Colorado State University filed a Title IX sex discrimination lawsuit and won in 1976. The lawsuit at Colorado State University or against Colorado State University has been a landmark case. The lawsuit that I won while at Colorado State University has helped many, many coaches, athletes, athletic directors in bringing equality to women and bringing the attention to women in athletics. This case pointed out that women really do want to compete and have the same advantage as their male counterparts to go to college, get a scholarship, and to also at the same time get an education. If you would like to hear more about my story as I progressed through the realms in college athletics to eventually becoming an athletic director for men and women's program, please contact me at www.speakermary.com